Chapter 7 Disaster Management An Introduction to Natural Disasters Disaster is a natural or man-made event which results in large-scale damage to life and property, loss of livelihood, environmental damage or disruptions to various social and economic activities over a large part of the earth that requires external aid. Different disasters occur in different parts of the earth. Mountainous regions are prone to earthquakes and landslides. Coastal areas are vulnerable to floods and cyclones. Deserts are prone to droughts. River valleys are prone to floods, etc. All hazards do not cause damage. So, it is the preparedness of the people which can reduce the damage caused by a disaster or the impact of a disaster by his knowledge and skill. All the people are not vulnerable to all disasters. Earthquakes. Earthquake refers to sudden vibrations or shaking or displacement of the earth's crust along lines of weakness caused due to tectonic forces. The point from where earthquake tremors start is called seismic focus while the point on the earth's crust vertically above the seismic focus where the disturbances occur is called epicenter. Occurrence. The frequency of earthquake is recorded by an instrument called seismograph. While intensity of an earthquake is measured on Richter scale and modified Merkley scale. Impact of earthquake. The extent of damage is related to the time of its occurrence, the type and quality of construction in raw material used in construction of buildings and the intensity of the earthquake. Mitigation Strategies 1. Preparation of seismic zones which are prone to earthquakes should be identified so that settlement in these areas can be avoided. 2. Awareness and training for engineers, architects, masons towards earthquake resistant structures and construction materials. 3. The new buildings should be constructed strictly according to the building bylaws made by the Bureau of Indian Standards. 4. Existing buildings can be made earthquake resistant by retrofitting techniques. Floods. The flood is the most common type of natural hazard in India. Flood occurs when the river overflows along its banks or rises above or beyond its normal level or it changes its course. There are several causes of flood. Floods are common in several parts of India. Loss of life can be caused due to drowning and outbreak of epidemics. It can damage the standing crops thus affecting the food supplies. It can lead to contamination of water, extensive soil erosion and thus the fertility of the soil reduces. It can result in shortage of food and water due to continuous heavy rainfall in an area. Improper drainage, blockage in the river channel by sediments, changing course of the river, deforestation, excessive sedimentation of the river bed, collapse of dams. During floods, 1. Cover your food and drink. 2. Use only boiled water. 3. Spray disinfectants like lime or bleaching powder in the surroundings. 4. Be careful about snakes as they are common during floods. 5. Avoid entering flood waters. A cyclone. A cyclone is a low pressure center surrounded by high pressure on all sides. It is a center of converging winds. The center of a cyclone is called the eye of a cyclone. The winds move in a cyclic manner with a velocity of more than 100 km per hour. The cyclones have a clockwise direction in northern hemisphere and anti-clockwise direction in southern hemisphere. Cyclones are usually accompanied by storms followed by heavy rainfall. They are known as hurricanes in North America, typhoons in China, cyclones in India, willy willies in Australia. The Indian Meteorological Department IMD issues cyclone warning and is engaged in cyclone tracking in India. The INSAT satellite and area cyclone detection radars are useful in cyclone tracking. Drought. 
Drought is a condition when there is long period of dryness due to little or no rainfall in a given region. It is a slow onset hazard that develops over a period of time. In India, droughts mainly occur due to failure of monsoons or the irregular monsoons. The main causes of droughts are the uneven distribution of rainfall, environmental degradation, population growth, urbanization and large-scale deforestation. The rainwater is easily washed away into the rivers and seas and not retained by the soil due to absence of vegetation. Overexploitation and misuse of water in regions of low rainfall causes drought-like situation. Drought results in low agricultural production with increased prices of food grains. Preparedness for droughts 1. Prevent misuse of land and water and conserve water by various means. 2. Build community-based rainwater harvesting structures. 3. Increase the forest cover through plantations. 4. Use alternative crops in drought conditions. 5. Introduce alternative means of earning livelihood. 6. Encourage crops and seed insurance schemes. 7. Recycling of water should be encouraged. Vulnerability refers to the extent the community of people is affected by a disaster. Generally, the children, old people, disabled people and poor people living in slums are the most vulnerable during any disaster. According to the recent studies, India is a multi-hazard prone area. Mainly 55% of the land area is prone to earthquakes, 12% to floods, 8% to cyclones, while 25% of cultivable areas are drought prone. The tsunami which occurred on 26 December 2004 was considered as a major disaster as it affected over 11 Southeast Asian countries, claiming more than 8,000 lives besides causing extensive damage to property.